Hey guys, uh, welcome to another review and stuff. I'm sorry if there's like if you're talking in the background, it's um kind of hectic around here. But um, I went to Target and uh, this is almost empty. Sorry, went to Target and I picked up these three guys. Um, these are the uh, Halo Reach campaign figures. Um, this is half of Noble Team. Ah, uh, this is, there are five of Noble Team out of the six released. Three, the three here, Carter, Emil, uh, Emil, and George. And then there is Cat and Noble Six. Um, I was going to get Noble Six as well, but I um, ran short of money, so I only could afford three, so I got these three. Cats, I've only found at Slackers at the mall down where I live, I'm at my mom's right now. Um, and Jun has not, be, has not been seen yet, hopefully it'll make him... So, alright. So let's just get off with the review of these three guys. Let's start with Carter, because he's my favorite out of these three guys right here. So, there's Carter. He's uh, the noble team leader. Um, let's see if I can get a better lighting. And Emil just took a swan dive off the shelf. And luckily, nothing popped off. Okay, so I'll get some better lighting. Alright, so here he is. His, uh, detail, uh, his details are pretty nice. Um, McFarlane always does a great job on their figures. Um, these are the more easier to come to come by. So, um, yeah. Uh, he comes with a DMR, which you can see on his back. Um, comes unpegged, and the peg always seems to come out. I have to come out. I have to get out with my teeth. I'm sorry if that's disgusting, but I have to. Because I don't like it when it's pegged, still pegged into the weapon. So there's a DMR. It's nicely detailed, all scuffed up. It's pretty cool. Um, I did modify it. Uh, both the both of uh, of uh, Carter's DMR and Emil's shotgun, I modified. I, I saw the trigger cage off so they could hold it better. Um, it sort of worked. We'll get to that into the bad parts. Now these guys have a lot of posability. Okay, so let's get down onto the figure. Now the posability. Okay, so. The head is on a ball joint that connects to the head and the neck, so it, it just can do a lot of different stuff. Just do everything. The arms are on a hinge that can go in and out and forward and back. You can go up about that much, which you know it doesn't. I don't think it needs to be go any higher. 360. It bends at the elbow about that much, um, and also swivels at the elbow. Swivels at the wrist, um, swivels at the hinge of the wrist, and does a whole bunch of crazy stuff at the wrist. So that's cool. All right, waist. It's got a waist joint, which is nice. Do some ab crunches. Uh, legs can go forward and back. Pretty nicely. It feels like it's this is ball joint right here. It feels like a ball joint kind of. Swivel at the, uh, at the, uh, knee. Bends at the knee about that much. I wish it was more, but that's only that much. The foot swivels at the foot and the joint, I believe. Um, it's got a ratchet foot that goes forward and backward. And a toe joint, which can swivel on a ball joint, actually, I think. And go forward and back. Actually, I think you can like pop this off. Yeah, that's a ball joint out right there. Except that's a ball joint. That's cool. As I popped Carter's toes off. Yeah. I can't. Sorry. Um. So, back 
to what we were talking about. Lots of posability on these guys. Mm. Trying to get them to hold their weapons are can be a, hell, a hellacious experience. Hellacious experience, bro. The mod I did on this didn't help that much. And his shoulder armor pops off. Yeah, because you can like ex interchange all their armor and stuff. So we got a decent DMR holding pose. And yeah, he's ready to, to snipe some fools. So it's all good there. Play some great. Play some grunt apocalypse with the DMRs. That's just one of my favorite things I like could do on Reach. Okay, so that's Carter. Oh yeah, he also comes with a grenade, but uh, I can't find it. Alright, let's take a look at Emil here. Alright, so, here's Emil. Um, definitely one of the cooler figure, one of the cooler characters of Reach. But, um, he's having a hard time standing. I don't know why. His his heel are his heels are kind of curved. I have to get him to that that kind of pose, and he still kind of wants to do a swan dive, so whatever. So he looks pretty cool. Take a look at his EVA EVA helmet with the skull carved in. I can't really see the screen. I'm gonna turn this light off. This is kind of messing up the lighting, I think. Yeah, you can see it better. Yep. So there we go. So he, he also comes with his uh, with the knife. You know that's cool. Something that they do in Reach, where they always have the knife so they can do assassinations. That's cool that Emil came with it. Since I believe all the Spartans comes with an has a knife on them somewhere. I don't see one on George. Oh well. So yeah, there's a meal. He comes with his knife, a grenade, um, a little segment of shotgun shells, clip onto the belt, and his shotgun, which is huge. Again, I apologize for this. I have to do that. Back into his back. <laughs> now here's a shotgun. Another um, weapon that's really incredibly detailed. I love the detailing on these weapons. Again, I modeled it. I sawed off the trigger cage so he can hold it. And the trigger. <laughs> Go figure. It's got this thing sticking off the side. I don't know what that is. Must be like a laser sight or something, maybe? I don't know. Hello. Hello, Tofu. Ah! Dang it. Stay in there now. As everything falls and breaks. Because my dog opened the door. Yeah, George kind of fell. I'll fix him in a second. You're staying now. Sorry. Um well we might as well we might as well say hi since he's in here. Come here, buddy. Come here, fatty. Come here. Ah yeah. Look at the camera. Look at, yeah. He doesn't want to. Alright. So, yeah. Comes with that stuff. And the shotgun. Now, getting the, getting him to hold it. None of these figures can hold a shotgun worth crap. Without looking completely stupid and awkward. Fuck the shotgun. 
So yeah, he looks pretty stupid holding it because his arm's like... Or something like that, I don't know. Uh, he's holding this, and he's doing this, he's like... Trying to get him to tilt it down some. Um, the stock's too big. Um, the pump's too big to to grab with the figures' hands because they're too small. I don't know, McFarlane. If you're gonna make an accessory for the figures, make sure they can hold them first. Topher, you're staying in here. Yeah. So that's cool. That's just great. So yeah. Um, let's clip this on the back. He also has a, uh, a sheath for the knife, but it doesn't go in because it's, as you can see, it's been closed off. So it's there for decoration. Um, it would be nice that the sheath could go, that the knife could go in there, but it'd be much, have to be much bigger, bigger than the blade itself. It'd probably look kind of weird, so. And it probably wouldn't stand there with shit since it's a small accessory. And of course, all the stuff is interchangeable, so you can, like, Plug off his knife shoulder pad and put it on someone else if you want. So whatever. I'm running really short on time, so I'm gonna move on to the next figure. Spend spend too much time on a meal. Okay, then our last figure is George. Now George is um probably. Next to uh, Carter, my my favorite um, member of Noble Six, Noble Six, no of Noble Team, because I just love George. He's so cool. <laughs> love his Britishness or Englishness or Scottishness, whatever he is. He's not British. What I'm talking about, but he's just so cool and stuff. I love the his helmet design, the Grenader, I think it's called. I don't know. He's got this big old machine gun, which reminds me a lot of the Vulcan, and he holds it. Good, actually. Yeah, it's a surprising actual figure. Oh, that falls off. Can actually hold something decently, and it's not going to come out. It's in his hands good. <laughs> yeah, shocker, right? Are you busy? So, yeah. Do -do -do. Yeah. Are you busy? Yeah. Hurry up. Okay. Sorry. My grandma wants her room back. Alright. So, yeah. Got his backpack. Right here. It's got a hole for something in there. And then you got that. And there's also a hole in his back. So if when I have his backpack on, you can still plug in a weapon. He's got butt pegs for grenades, even though he doesn't come with one. I'm going to take his weapon out. So you can take a look. Looky poo with that. Very nice. Now uh, let's take a look at George himself. Look at George. Alright, so that's it. I'm not gonna waste time because I'm almost out of time I got about like a minute left before my camera shuts off so as long as my dog is whining Neil's not in the shot okay so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later uh goodbye